Hello friends, welcome to today's session on Apache Spark. In this series, we are covering some real-time use cases that we often face in production. And in our today's video, we will cover one of the real-time scenario that we often encounter. So the use cases like how to add a column or else remove a column or else uh, cast a column in a struct type field. So we will use PySpark as our programming language and Databricks as our platform to develop the code. And uh, here you can see I had given an input schema and the output schema with some struct field inside it. Uh, this is basically a JSON file. So when I am reading it, I obviously will have a uh, struct type or also an extra nested struct type fields. So the final goal is to understand how we can add a column or else remove a column from the struct type and how to cast a column. Let us see how we can do it. That being said, let us move on to our today's demo. So we are into my Databricks community edition. I have already started the cluster and created the notebook for us. Uh, we will walk through each and every step to understand uh, how we can add a column or else remove a column to a struct type field. I hope the notebook is visible. Let me make it somewhat bigger. So the data set that we are taking today is like, as I said, it is a JSON file formatted uh, data. And then uh, this is something related to a MART information. I'm using FS head command to see the sample data. Let me show you the sample data first. Here you can see this is something related to a, a supermarket information where the uh, cost of each items has been given and uh, uh, for particular area, for the particular month and year, what is, the, uh, what is the cost of the item that we have. So like those informations it is having inside it. And uh, this sample file, I will be giving the GitHub link in my blog as well as this code snippets also I will put it there. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, download the uh, data set and uh, use it on your own uh, to try it on your own to understand the concept better. I will give a link in the description. So that being said, let us move on. And as a first step, let me show you uh, how we can read this JSON file and convert it as a data frame. So it, it is simple like uh, the file format, I am giving it as a JSON. And then I am enabling a property of uh, multi-line as true. And then I'm loading this input data path and I'm displaying the data for you guys. So there we go. We got uh, the informations of JSON getting converted into a data frame and then I will also print the schema. So this is the input uh, schema that I had shown initially. Uh, so here uh, what we have to do, uh, we have to add a column under fruits and then we have to remove a column under vegetables and we have to cast a column of rate from double to three under stationary. So this is the three requirement that we have. So let us solve the first one how we can add a column to our fruits. Let us check that. So before that, uh, I will uh, give only three columns in this select for us to understand it better. So I'm giving area code, which is a unique one, and then fruits, vegetables, and stationery from which we are going to do oh, the operations to the transformations. So here you can see, this is in uh, uh, fruits has couple of columns, vegetable has couple of columns, stationery has couple of columns, and then uh, we do have a unique code of area. So let me show you how we can add a column to a struct type field. So, you know, like basically when we have a column to add, uh, we will use with column, uh, we will use the column name, new column name that needs to be added and the value or else the old column name that has to be replaced. So in this way we will be adding, uh, but if you are uh, using uh, in this way, like uh, for example, if you want to select a fruits, uh, what you will do? You will put df1 dot select and inside this if you wanted to select something inside fruits I will put star and I will make display so we will be selecting the columns under fruits in this fashion only so if I wanted to add a column inside fruits if I put fruits dot dis discount, will that work? Let us see how it ha adds the column. I'm running it. It, it. it will not fail sure. But you can see, like if I print a schema, 
it is adding column to the last it is not adding column inside the fruit struct type instead it is adding the column to a root and the column name is also fruit dot discount so this is how it is getting added i don't want it to get added in that way i want it to be added under the fruit struct type so let us see how we can do it we don't have a straight forward method we do we need to have a workaround to do that so pyspark provides us a solution with that uh, we do have a function called struct so i am importing the struct function and uh, i am taking all the columns that is available under fruits and i am adding it and creating a list so let me run this and let me show you what is in s fields so basically it will have all the columns that are uh, under the fruits struct type so you can see there are couple of columns items and rate now we are uh, planning to add a new column called discount so after getting the list what i am doing is now i am using a with column and i am giving fruits as a column name so this is of struct type as you know so now i i have to create a new struct type so i am using this struct function that i have imported struct and inside this i am iterating through all the columns that are available in this list and adding those column to the struct first these are all the existing columns that is already available in fruits so i am adding those things first and then finally i am appending a new column called discount again to this struct so in this way we will not touch anything uh, and we will add a column to the fruits so let me uh, actually i have already run it and you can see under fruits i have already added a column called discount so let us query this uh, let us check whether uh, we can query the data so same query i am using dot select area fruits vegetable stationery and then i am putting dot display so here you can see in under fruits i have added a column called discount of 10 so this is how uh, we will be adding a column to a struct type and let us now move on and see how we can remove a column so same like we can't use a drop function as you know like uh, if i put select statement select vegetables dot rate it will go ahead and select the numbers uh, but if i use drop statement df2 dot drop and then i am using vegetables dot rate it will obviously it will not drop it it will not fail as well but it will not drop it let us check the schema sorry i have to check df2 so here you can see the vegetables uh, i have tried to drop rates but still it is available vegetable dot rates is where i am trying to drop it but it is not dropping so let us check how we can remove this same logic but we have to tweak it a little bit to uh, remove the column so here again i am creating a list of columns that is available under vegetables as a first step uh, since i have imported the struct already i am not going to import it again and then i am re removing the rate column from this struct field so now after running this if i check this s field it will not have the rate column since i have removed the rate it has only one column called item and now i am uh, using a with column function and adding vegetables as a new column and then giving a struct function and iterating through the columns that are available under this list so by this way i will be able to remove the column let us check the schema so here you can see i had already removed the column called rate under the vegetables and now let me give a select statement that we are doing so here you can see uh, fruits has a discount column and the vegetable has only one column it has removed the other column that we have added the rate is not available now so this is how the drop is also done in struct type field and now let us move on to a third case where we need to cast a column so here you can see the rate is of float here we have to convert this rate into a string type 
so that is what our third requirement is so let us see how we can cast the rate column so the same logic again uh, we have to tweak it a bit a lit so again I am not importing the function of struct I am converting the names into a list I mean uh, I am getting the column names of stationary and creating a list and then again uh, I need to convert this rate into a uh, string from float so I am removing it from this list first and then uh, here you can see I am still adding the stationary using with column function and creating a struct for that and then uh, here I am selecting all the columns that is under the S field under the list and then I am casting like I am here you can, you can see like I am selecting rate column from the stationary and I am casting it as string and then again I am uh, giving a name as rate and I am appending it to the struct so this is what I am doing here let me run this and show you the schema so here you can see under stationary I have a rate column and now you can see last time when I ran the same command you can see it was double under stationary and now the same command it gave a rate of string under stationary so this is how it works and let me give select finally to see how it looks so here you can see I have uh, added a discount column I had removed a rate column from uh, vegetable and uh, this rate column I have converted as a string previously you could have seen double quote is not available but since now it is a string the double quotes is available uh, this is how we can uh, manipulate and you can do a field transformations on top of uh, struct field hope you guys understood this I have uh, provided a link of my blog in the description where you can find the code snippet as well as the data set for you guys to try on your own please try and let me know if you face any issues uh, reach out to me I am here to help you guys uh, thank you for watching uh, please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up if you if you really like my video thank you